Well, hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Dinosaurs episode. Well, we're back, guys, on Jurassic Park Hammond's Legacy by Z Gaming Donut. Uh, he has released the map, oh, well, that's a long time ago now. <laughs> Six, eight weeks, probably two months nearly, but I've been so busy, haven't been able to show you this map. It is one of the top best ever maps in Minecraft. So he's been making this for nearly two years and it's finally finished with all new stuff and he's actually populated. Last time we came on this map, there weren't many trees. The whole map had been turned upside down, but now it's done, guys, and ready for you guys to download. We are in Minecraft Java 1.12.2 uh, and yeah, it comes with a mod pack including vehicles, although these are Cadwin's vehicles and I've had great trouble trying to get this one to work. It does look super cool though, as I will show you. And when you go into the menu, uh, Cadwin's vehicles has got a ton of Jurassic Park vehicles uh, and Jurassic World vehicles all uh, available to download. All sorts of things. They're all sorts of really cool vehicles. Uh, but some of them need... So Catwin's vehicles is a... You have to put wheels on them. That's why that vehicle is there. Uh, I must get rid of that. Yeah, you, you have to go and look at the tutorials. I've never done a tutorial on this. Uh, but uh, you can do all sorts of things to vehicles. You need to put different wheels and tires on them and fill them up with fuel to get them to work. Anyway, we're here to show you the map, guys. So we've got a ton of things to show you. And if I go and first of all show you the map and how big it is using Journey Map. So you can see we are here on the, the famous, he's done a little area here with the waterfall, which is really cool. And if I, I that's zoomed out map this, guys. So if we go south, there's the south of the island. Uh, we will go and visit all these different sites. Obviously, you know, that's the visitor center, uh, the power area there. We got the safari lodges, Iguanagon Inn. The Iguanagon Inn is now moved. But you can see, guys, look, all the fences are done. Yes, they are. Uh, and we've now got a massive aviary on here to show you. Uh, radio Tower, Workers Village, I think that's the Workers Village, I've had to work it out myself, Hammond's Bungalow, Hydroelectric Dam, Paleo Medical Facility, uh, we have got some towers dotted around which we're going to have a look at, this is the T-Rex enclosure over here, it's massive, it's got a, a lake as well, we're going to have a look at that, Stylophosaurus paddock here, uh, this pack, it also comes with sound and everything. I've turned the sounds down deliberately because I don't want to get copyright strikes like, but there we go. Uh, Bone Shakers completed. Uh, the Tylosaur area, marine facility and Tylosaur boat tour as well is over here. We've got viewing towers. We've got the Raptor paddock. There's a tunnel. There's quite a few tunnels which haven't been over here to the North Dock. Uh, and the Northern facility. Now, this isn't listed, but it's here. And also, guys, there's like a... A lighthouse over here so that's how big the map is and it's fully populated ready for you guys to download it is one of the most detailed maps that i have ever seen as we know from the gaming donuts previous maps uh, they are so high quality so where should we start right we will start by the jurassic park gates i think we'll actually no yeah we'll start over here we'll we'll have a look at this so so we'll go to the gates first and we'll be able to teleport there. You can see I've got all the things here available. Uh, so now you can see that. Teleport to the gates. Because that's where you start when you come to Jurassic Park. Now it's open at the moment. Oh my god, what are there? The flames on there. They look really good with the nest. Uh, there is a, the gate opens and closes using a trigger. It opened before. It, it probably, it'll probably uh, see this. And now it pro I should have probably come through the other side to close it. There you go. The gates close. They're well cool, aren't they? So lots of little features that work on this. So if I just go through this again, let's go. The, the uh, If you put this truck on here and back to I don't know if it will work. Uh, I wonder if I can get in it and just try it for you guys. Let's get out. Uh, F5. Are we ready? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. We'll go backwards, guys. We'll go backwards. Oh, it's not. I'm not on the track. That's why. Let's turn around. We'll pretend we're going this way. Oh, no. <laughs> it's come. It's come the wrong way. Right. 
Just leave that there, guys. We'll go this way and show it anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, so the tracks are all in place. I'm just going to trigger this. Oh, that's weird. That's a graphical glitch, guys. That's weird. And then it will close again. Graphical glitch. Anyway, that's all right. So uh, we'll start over here just to show you the Dilophosaurus area. You can see straight away, guys, uh, all the fences and everything are all in here. They are really, really, really cool. Uh, everything is in place. Uh, and what I've done is it, the mod pack that you download comes with Jurassic Reborn mod. Uh, so you'll see here some Dilophosaurus are sleeping quite happily. But you can see all the fences are all in. Dilophosaurus here. If I made it night, they would wake up. Uh, and yeah, so you can see the amount of work that has gone into this. I don't know how many hundreds of hours that he's taken. We'll go to the T-Rex enclosure, but I wanted just to show you how the mats were laid out because we're going to come over here and you'll be able to see. Oh, uh, it's off. Yeah. Hey, there we go. It's just a bit of a bug because I'm messing around with it. So when you come over here, you come to the visitor center area. It looks really cool, does it not? It looks really cool. And then there's the Triceratops, uh, Iguanodon Lodge behind. So what I'm going to do, guys, is it's also got a texture pack. The texture pack, you have to download that. Otherwise, some of the blocks will look funny. So let's go into here. I know Zygame Donuts, like me, puts his own take on things. There we go. That's a Jurassic World Reborn mod T-Rex. Uh, but we'll start from over here. You'll see some different things. That's the elevator. Some of the elevators work and some don't. Uh, and there's doors galore. Does that just go out that way? Oh, that goes down in. There's a garage which isn't complete. Uh, we'll go up here anyway. We'll start going round. And you will see. Look, he's put exhibits in. He said you saw a skeletons. We'll go around there in a minute. Pachycephalosaurus in there. This is the uh, cafe. Uh, yeah, this is the cafe here, and I'm sure if we go through, there's an outside bit over here. Yeah, there's the outside bit, guys. We'll nip back in here, because that's where we're going. We'll want to go around there. There's like bits and pieces from different packs on here that you'll get from different packs. Oh, Velociraptor. Oh, they'd be going. they be going. Where do they go? Well, the trouble is we sort of... Oh, is this the kitchens? No, that's just not been used yet. Oh, that is. Oh, it's a bit dark in here, guys. Oh. Oh, I hate these doors. Right, it's just the back of... Ah, right, okay. It's still being... Oh, that shouldn't be in here. Let's get it back out of here. Let's go. Back out to here, guys. Right. Uh, oh. Microceratus. So he's put his own slant on this. I know for a fact if we go over this way, we will go and find the inner workings of the. Uh, the oh, is it going that? Way? Yeah, there's loads. Let's just go this way first. I want to see what I'm missing here. That goes up. So that goes up. Yeah, we're not going that way. We'll go this way, guys. This should go round to the laboratory. And there's NPCs in here as well, guys. If we can find... Oh! My God. Like a kitchen. Wow, wow, wow. Right, there's a little bit there. We haven't, I haven't found... I, oh, maybe I have to go down to this bit. Where are we going? No, we're out now. We're back out. Lots of little cubby holes. But when I, what I'm looking for... I'm not going out. What I'm looking for is the laboratories. Maybe they've been put upstairs. Oh, no. Right. Let's see if we can find them. Maybe they're hiding over here. Elevated to lift again. Right. Let's go upstairs. I will probably find something up here. Oh, that's the elevator. Aha! We found it, guys. Yeah. 
I can't remember where he's actually put it. Now, this will be the other doors over here. Hey, it's a conference room. Is there another one? Another conference room. I, did, I missed them last time. So let's just go up here because I want to go around. So this is the cinema ride, but it doesn't go all the way around. So we'll go, oh, look, the NPCs are here. What are they all doing? What are they all doing? So he's put NPCs in as well, which is really cool. <laughs> they got they got some. Uh, let's get in here. Wow. <laughs> the lab. Oh, what's in here? Oh, that must go. That must be like a lift. You can see there's different textures anyway. Aha. Oh. Uh -huh, the control room. Wow. Superb. And we can get back out. Uh, what's around here? I think we've done that. And then here will be some roof spaces. We'll go back down. That's the easy way to go down. And we'll go. Oh, this does this go up to the like the special roof bit? Probably just literally where I've been, isn't it? That's why. Yeah, it is. Right, so there you go. I don't think there's anything else up here. There's sort of... Oh, VIP dining. Okay. Oh, that's where we were before, weren't we? And that's just to lift back down again. So it does look super cool. A lot of work gone into it. So I'm going to go back outside, guys, and have a look around. It does look good, doesn't it? Never, I never saw if there were any, there's, it's, some of it's unfinished, maybe it's just the lift where you come up through. But it does look super cool. Uh, at the back of it then we have this, which is I call the power station. I call this the power station. Uh, reminds me very much of the Lost World. Uh, nothing finished in there guys, so it's a new, a new, just, just, a, just looks quite good. Yeah, that's the power generators there. So now this, the Iguanodon Lodge has appeared in various locations. And this is the final resting house uh, from the previous maps. It is massive, guys. Here we go. It's, uh, it is absolutely massive. So what we'll do is I'll nip through here to see reception. It's double layered there. And then it has this big area here. But look how big this is and I wanted to go this side because the light was shining on it but look all the rooms all the rooms have like a balcony and a kitchen area and a seating area and you come back out into here all like that and every room is kitted out the same but every room is typical hotel in it you might have some difficulties then what he's done is really clever He's put these like little treed areas in as well uh, with the, obviously you could the view in across here, but it does not look really good. Now on the previous, uh, there were, there were some of them have got doors and some of them haven't. So he's put it there and then he's put it on the corner one over here. Ah, I think there's a door on this one, the corner one, if I'm correct. Yes, oh, there's the lift here. Oh yeah, I wanted to use the lift. So I'm going to sneak in here. Let's sneak in here. Now, I'm not sure if the lift will work. Okay. Because when I tried it, look at this. This might have been used. Oh, there we go. I've gone up. So I moved up to the top floor. Uh, wow. I love the way that's been done. And as I say, you just literally, these have been done. All the rooms are here to walk on it. Uh, obviously, it's got, we've got like uh, shaders on it and a, and a, uh, and a uh, texture pack as well. Oh, that must be the middle. Now, there must be a lift, I would suspect. No, there's no lift. No lift, guys. So guess what? We're going to have to break the windows and get out. But that's the same over there. There's tennis courts there. Uh, he's put in a water area. Uh, obviously... Even though this is like 100% complete, it's done. It's got a path down to the beach. It's a beautiful map. So you can see how big it is because we're sort of, I put it, I think I put it at 20 blocks. 
Right, let's have a look at the map. So now we'll go, so we've done the Guanagolan Visitor Centre, Safari Lodges. Let's go Safari Lodges. Right, obviously I put my pin in the wrong place there, guys. So now, this is interesting. So I've a previous map, he had some really fancy uh, lodges. And at the moment, he hasn't got the fancy lodges on here. They are the same lodges. It's just that they looked, they were all done in fancy area. I'm sure it must be the same lodge. But uh, yeah, I remember, it, uh, yes, they have just been transferred in. But there's no trees around. There'll be a bedroom in here. Bathroom, bathroom. The bedroom's there. So safari lodges... And you get this balcony as well. But there's no been no trees put in round the edge yet. And then look, he's put the tennis courts in here. So that is in place. I wouldn't say it's 100%. What I'd like to see, I think, you know, like the lodges, they probably have more, that probably there'd be more pools like that. So you'd probably have one pool between four lodges, couldn't you? That's probably what you could have. But the lodges are in. Uh, in there. Don't look at Done good, done good. Right, let's have a look, guys. So let's go to Hammond's bungalow. We'll go, we'll go clock, we'll go on to yeah, clockwise round. So Hammond's bungalow. I've come up inside his bungalow. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's go and have a look outside. I need to check that. It's because it's higher. When I set the, uh, so here is the bungalow here, the little pond. The other, that's from over there. Let's go back in and have a look. Dun, 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 dun. So this is Hammond's bungalow. Needs a reef, needs some stuff in it, I think. Yes, it's just been put here at the moment. So it's here. Looks very good. Lovely location. So that's Hammond's bungalow into location. Ooh, it looks like he's got, he could have waterfalls coming down. He could have a lake up here, couldn't you? And waterfalls coming down. That would look pretty impressive if that was done that. Right, next up, guys. So, uh, let's have a look. So, we're going to go to the radio tower. And I've called it Worker's Village. I think it's the Worker's Village. Oh, right, I need to get the height on that. And it's more than 125. So, we have Worker's Village. Here's the garage. So here is the garage uh, from the Verkers Village, from the model. We never did see it all. Oh, my God, look, you could put all the trucks and stuff in there. Definitely could. Uh, then you've got the famous bar and restaurant, which is on the corner of the street. Remember building one of these myself. Oh, it's got the round blocks in, the round mod in it. So the bar is here. Toilets. And obviously an outside area as well. So let's just have a look in here. So this is the this is what you'd get. If you live in a you live in accommodation, it's just blocks. But they would have everything, wouldn't they? It'd be a flat bed settee, uh, bed settee TV. It'd be a bed settee TV, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, you'd have everything in, in in confined into the into the. That's really coolly done. That. And what's on the other side? Let's have a look on the other side. Oh, there's loads. Oh, they've got they've got their own water here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is this like the communal areas here as well? That's really cool. Yeah. So all the places are kitted out nicely. I must admit, you can see it's like a workers workers retreat as such and they put them all in the same area and then they bust them down to workers place right here is what i call is the radio tower uh just a radio tower really sitting on here although i would have expected the radio tower to be on the top of the mountain it would be shielded there so anyway it's got a uh, an area in here for vehicles and the such uh yeah all there to do what you want with now oh there's obviously the that goes straight out the top and there was another one here. It does come out the top there. Very good. Radio tower. So you can see, guys, the, the scenery is absolutely magnificent. 
uh, and you tend to go over the mountains to other areas and you'll find new tracks. So let's see this new pathway. Where are we now on the map? We are nipping across here now. Uh, so we haven't been over there yet. Let's do the hydro. Oh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll nip over here to see that and that. And then we'll go back to the hydroelectric because we're nearly here to see one of these little lakes over here. And what I love the fact is the amount of time and effort to put these fences in, right? So you've got all these fences in here. Uh, now, this might be the Triceratops field. Yes, I did put some dinosaurs in, guys. This is Triceratops. Why do I know that? Because what he's done at the paddocks, he's put the signs to tell you. And yeah, the only funny thing is the soul sand. <laughs> the soul sand works, but there you go. Yeah, so trikes are all in here in the trike paddock. Uh, all the way dotted around the park are the toilets here. And then you've got these beautiful viewing towers. And we'll go into this one. I wonder, actually, I didn't, I didn't actually test this out. But this, whether they, how this works. Oh, it's just a, aha. It's a, it, I wondered whether there was a lift. But there isn't, guys. So we're going to head back outside and go to top ourselves. Yes, I do like this viewing tower. So if you're on here, you can obviously see the lake across there. And you can see the trike area quite well. So you can see up high. Maybe I think uh, they are superb and they're dotted all over the map. And there's, what he's done now is put these beautiful lakes in here. There's one there uh, as well, dotted around the map. Uh, I can't think what else is over here. Oh, it's the end of the fence is here. So I don't, I didn't do anything with this paddock down here. Whether there's, there's a sign for this paddock. So I don't know what the paddock this is. Let's have a look. Gallimimus. Let's get some Gallimimus. Now, there's two mods. You've got the, uh, you've got uh, Mind Jurassic. Uh, Mind Jurassic and you have the standard. So let's just put some Mind Jurassic ones in. This is Mind Jurassic, guys. And then these are the Jurassic Reborn mod. Superb. See? They probably will escape because that fence is quite low. But uh, it all works. It all works really well. Right, so let's go to the hydroelectric dam next. And I think I'll probably be underwater again. Oh, I'm on top. I've made it. Oh, I put this higher up. So if I remember right, this hydro, there was a hydroelectric dam in his last map, uh, which is, this is sort of different. I hope that I have to check on his Planet Minecraft page whether his other map is still available for download, because I do, did like his last map. But look, it all works. You better see the water it does come through, I think. So it's not quite finished, because I thought it's there. Yeah, hydro dam, and it does work. And you can see all the cliffs are in, in shot as well. That looks like the cliff where in Jurassic World, they have the Jurassic World pen, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so there's loads of the map, which is like uninhabited. Uh, but it, it's now got all the trees in, so you can do stuff with it yourself, uh, what you want. Uh, it's obviously roadways going around here, because this goes to the, I've called this the Paleo area paleo vet area because it's got some pens and it looks like the building that we had on the island on the previous map i would go and check out my previous videos because they are different although this has only got one pen and i will sh the northern facility has more than one pen so i'm not sure whether this is the paleo vet facility because uh, it also is, it's like there may be two of them, maybe one side of the island less, but that's sort of not done much more apart from building it yet. And these textures obviously come with the, you have to get downloaded if you want these like concrete textures. So that's all good. So we've seen that, guys. Uh, right, let's head north. Let's head north then to the Raptor Paddock. Raptor Paddock here. Oh, it's got NPCs as well put in. But it doesn't it look good. It's good. Raptor Paddock is here. Wow. That is superb. 
Oh, yes, I put some raptors in there. You can hear them. They're hiding. <laughs> Excellent. So, hiding over the back of here is one of the tunnels. Now, in his previous maps, uh, he put tunnels in all over the place and uh, they were superb. So, this is like a new style tunnel that he's put in. Uh, and you can see uh, the lighting, the, they are the old fashioned lights, which have used a texture pack. Uh, it looks something like out of the Aliens franchise with the this, the corrugated floor underneath, uh, which is really cool. And this literally comes out at the far end dun, 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 by, he's called it North Docks. But again, look at this. It is beautiful. Beautiful. There are also some high areas here. I just love this map that he's built. He's built it on Painter is Superb. Oh, look, it's got different types of flooring on here. So this is the Northern Docks, guys. Wow. That's cool. Very cool indeed. What happens if I go in here? I just... Oh, I fall straight down. <laughs> I couldn't see you, that's why. Uh, Northern Docks. Yeah. So like a, that's where you hook up the boats. No boats here at the moment. Wow, looks really cool. Do like that. Really cool. Right, we'll head over to the Northern Facility. I'm calling it Northern Facility, guys, because uh, I don't know what else to call it, really. Uh, it's also, you can see it's being built at the moment because one of the buildings has just been put in here before it gets put in. Now, I wonder... It, whether this is it's got two pens or whether or not this would be like the holding pens uh whether a future project here where this is where the creatures the creatures come in because he's got some pens here with some stuff where you'd have them locked in so i don't know whether this is a reception center uh but it does look very good yeah that reminds me so it's very dark in there guys have a look in here yeah this looks like re reception areas oh like it's in a swallow in there it needs lighting up so it hasn't been purpose built but look at these fences guys superb look at the mountain range wow so this is still being made as you can see uh it's almost it is got the famous gates on as well so it's like a compound before they go out into here but all the roads you can see all the roads are done really well Right, so we'll go to that uh, viewing towers. That's just viewing towers. We'll nip over there. Yeah, it's another, it's another viewing tower. Different one to last one. It's not the same one, guys. But you can, I wanted to show you all the road systems. They're all done, all in place. Right, uh, Cretaceous Cruise. Now I'm calling this, in fact, what I want to do is we'll, we'll nip out here down this valley because there's like all sorts of different places. You could you could now enhance this and you'll come to this like valley here, which he's built. All the trees have been put in and there's grasslands as well. So I'm calling this like the Cretaceous Cruise. Uh, although at the moment there is a fence that goes right across Cretaceous Cruise. Now, I don't know whether that's just a bit of a, an error, but the Cretaceous Cruise is here. You can see the dock. Yeah, you can see the dock here. Yeah. Very cool. There's a bridge here. You can go right past it. So I take it that is Cretaceous Cruise, but I'm not a 100% guys. And you can see, you could actually go, it's, he's placed all, placed all this down. It's absolutely brilliant, to say the least. There's another little water area there. Uh, oh, there's another tower along here. We're going along to this tower before we move on again. This has got paddocks as well. See, the paddocks are all done now. So you can download this and you can add to it uh, and I would contact if you do some fantastic builds I would contact him to be honest uh, right Jay where are we now so we're over here uh, we'll go in oh marine facility as we're right by the marine facility we'll do that uh, and head to the marine facility which is left here 
It's beautiful. All the power of things are in. Right, so marine facility, guys. Uh, we've got an upper and lower marine facility. This is the upper building at the moment. It hasn't been kitted out. I can imagine this before you went downstairs. You know, like if they were, because it'd be very limited to go downstairs, that this would actually have loads of tanks and stuff in uh, before you went downstairs. Now, I don't know if this works. I can't remember if it works. No doesn't work uh, so the lift would take you down underneath to the marine facility underneath so we're going to head out there for yourself the marine facility was uh, I remember building this I'll tell you what there's two ways in so you can see the marine facility here here is the here's the gate system oh the sharks are here from Jurassic World Reborn because they are but look at this guys I just wanted to show you this Proper jobby. It's all done to keep the uh, keep the critters in and out. And there's obviously a gate here where you could go in. I wouldn't like to go in a boat into here though. I really wouldn't, guys. No, I wouldn't like to. So anyway, we're going to go in here because this will take us round into the marine facility at the bottom. Uh, the, obviously, it's a bit lower. It's going to go underwater, so it's going to drip. I just love the. Uh, I'm using. Uh, I'm using. Uh, oh complimentary shaders on this one uh yeah that looks like the lift where it probably go up there but here we go here is the basic marine facility it is absolutely gorgeous uh the, this is a reception area uh i can't i don't know whether oh oh they you go down now i didn't see this before Ah, <gasps> yes, he's put in the little wall where they come through in Jurassic Park, the game. They come out over. Oh, don't come out over there. Wow. So he's put that in, which is really cool. I'm very impressed. Very, I wonder if the one on the other side actually. Let me have a look over here, guys. So there's nothing there at the moment. Uh, aha. Right, let me just check there's nothing over here first because there isn't. There. So where are we coming over there? Let's go right first. Go. It's too many things. Whoa, it looks like water tanks. So we're now, we're now in the, yeah, well, I'll wait. I'm looking to see where the Tylosaurus is, guys. If you see a Tylosaurus, let me know. <laughs> we'll have a look over here. So let's go down here. This should be the lift, which takes us down into the tile. Oh, 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 any Tylosaurus here? Right. So, question. How do we get down? That is a million dollar question, guys. Uh, don't think the lift is here yet, is it? I'm missing the lift. I cannot see where the lift is. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is... I'm going to have to just go through, guys. Sorry. I'm going to be naughty. Go into the water. I cannot find the lift. Here it is down here. Oh! How come I didn't see that? Oh, you mad person, you. I'm looking for dinosaurs. Right, sorry, I'm going to put this back in here. It doesn't matter. It's my map. I've done it now. Right. How the hell? Here is the lift. There is the lift over in the bottom. We're here, guys. Downstairs. Oh, I like that. Back up. Oh, love it. That works. Absolutely brilliant. So now we're in the bottom bit. Oh, I thought that was scary. Where's my Tylosaurs? I think we need some light out here. We will go outside because I thought the Tylosaurs are here. Here is the uh, here is the water area, although it's got they've put glass on it just for this. So let's go down and see if we can find some Tylosaurs. Hey, hey they're sleeping. That's why they weren't doing anything. Come on, it's supposed to be swimming round. <laughs> you're bored I'm bored dad yeah Tylosaurs are here and the, the area I wonder where the other one is there was another Tylosaur in here and it looks spooky yeah maybe the one Tylosaur ate the other one but there you go Tylosaurs are here so that is superb whoa there's a cave whoa spooky and I can't see where that goes so I was Sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, well, there we go. Right. 
bit spooky, bit scary. Whoa, so that is pretty damn good to say the least. Uh, and there's the other bit on top. Right, Jay, where have we been? So now let's go to the Bone Shaker, guys. This is really cool. Uh, bone Shaker. And here is the Bone Shaker. And it got it's got the track that comes around again. It looks really cool. Oh, can I go on the bone shaker? Oh, there look, you can walk up to the top. Uh, let's go down here. Do I get a little can I pick up whoa? Oh here we go. Can we like can we oh oh well, I just turned it off. Right, let's get a minecart. Oh, I'm going to go myself, guys. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here we go. I probably went the wrong way around. I can't remember now from the uh, Jurassic part of the game. Oh, doesn't like me. Okay, time to get out. <laughs> There's the bone shaker. Wow. Right, we'll go west. That's the Western Tower, is it? Western Tower. Let's just go and have a look over there. It's another, just to show you, there's more lakes northwestern. Oh, actually, I messed that up, didn't I? While I am here, just messed it up completely. I'm in the base of the blowing tower. My God, what a... Come on. <laughs> yes, there we go. So there's the viewing tower there. And then there's more paddocks over here, as you can see. There's more. Did we come... Did we actually, did, did we actually come past that? Oh, no, that's a different one again. There's another bridge in it. Or it's the same one. Oh, maybe I've gone to the wrong one. Yeah, I went the wrong one. Right. Well, go. We'll go to the T-Rex compound. Oh, I love the signs. The signs are here. Avery that way. We'll go to the Avery. So here is the T-Rex compound, guys. And what he's also done is, this is one end with the cliffs here. He's put the cliffs in here and then the T-Rex compound down there. It's good you can have more there. And then down the far end, he's got the T-Rexes again with the feeding area. So there's a cliff over that side, but there's a feeding area here, uh, which will probably produce some, probably produce some goats now. Yes, there we go. And I, yeah, come on, food time. I don't know where the other one is. I thought there was another one here. But there you go. There's a feeding area as well, which is really cool. So that's the T-Rex. It's really big T-Rex area. Uh, and I love the way it's on a hillside in Scarpment as well. So that's really cool. Right. Uh, right. So I think we've done everything apart from the super duper last thing, which is the Avery guys. And look at the size of this. I didn't expect the Avery to be so big. Holy moly. So it's like a cross between the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World one and their famous old Jurassic Park with the Terratops uh, Hotel here. Now, I want to know how. Yes, you get in through there. There was a path down there. I thought there was to get into the hotel reception. Uh, I haven't put any ter pteranodons or anything in here at the moment, actually. Pterodactyls, aren't I? Let's just see, let's just see, guys. We've put a few birds in here, eh? Ooh, we have got, no, ooh, pteranodon spawn. Let's put that one of those in. Let's get rid of that. Uh, that's a pteranodon That's a different one. And Maseranis. 
And then what we'll do is we should be able to find the pteranodon there and the Z. There we go. Let's get let's get just get loads in, guys. Are we ready? Oh, so these will start flying. Oh, the mine Jurassic. Yeah, I like the mine Jurassic stuff as well. There we go. So mine Jurassic's fly around. Now this is not the latest mine Jurassic. There is a new one. But they're pretty cool. Once they get going, guys, so we'll put bring in these ones, the reborn. Oh my god, reborn. Madness ensues. Now you get when they put in other ones, they look massive, but they're pretty big anyway. Wow. Wow wow wow. Now I know for a fact. Is this open? It is open. Now, it wouldn't be open because it'd come and start eating the people. Oh, I like these beams. Ooh. Oh, they use it. I know what they're using, those. So here is a Terratop Lobs. Different viewing platforms. There's even, is there even places to, you actually can stay. You can actually stay in this as well as a hotel. Wow. I think I'd be quite scared at night to whether or not. Imagine being here. Uh, are they going to go and eat me? Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then one would get in here. Uh, there you go. Can you imagine coming out at night in the corridor. <laughs> Wait, where'd that go? Oh, down here. Let's go down to the basement. Yeah, let's go down to the basement. Let's go out this way, shall we? Wow. Wow, sir. Yeah, it's still, yeah, look, it's coming in itself. It's trying to come in itself. Oh, my word. Oh, there we go. Absolutely superb. Oh, one's already gone over here. Already some of them do that anyway, but there we go. Yeah, so I'd be pretty scared, actually, to stay in one of these. It would be pretty scary, wouldn't it? Can I actually get under here? No, you can't get out here. Oh, I'm going to just get out this way because I want to. Let's go and have a look at this. Uh, what's stopping me? That's stopping me. I just wanted to see outside. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's just the way. Oh, I see. He's put concrete fences in there in front of a barrier. Wowza. And the roads are here. That is massive, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I think, I think we have hit everything now in terms of that lots more stuff to, there's always so much more to see but i like the way uh it's all laid out i actually love this island this island is a much improved island from the previous one so it's really good uh so yeah so you can download it guys it's it's in obviously minecraft 1.12 there's a texture pack and obviously a mod pack there are tons of mods uh in this particular pack so you can go and carry on building to heart's consent i would like hopefully say that this is called update seven uh, and it is classed as a final version at the moment. So I don't know what the game of donuts plans are, but it's really cool. So this is an absolute stupendous map. It's all available for you to download and use obviously on Java. And then you can do to your heart's content and add to it and whatever. I'm sure as uh, a gaming donut would love to see what people do with it uh thank you very much for the gaming donut for passing it over me to showcase like i do as i say go and check out the previous uh previous videos i've done on this is that there'll be a little showcase to gaming donut uh and go and check out the other and how they were previously on the other maps they are all cool right thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time Bye bye